You know, when I think about getting up and giving a speech, I can't help it. I have to remember the first speech I ever gave. I was coaching at Rutgers University. That was my first job. All I, oh, we got some, wonderful. And I was the freshman coach. That's when freshmen played on freshman team. And I was so fired up about my first job. I see Lou Holtz, Coach Holtz here. What was it like the first job you had, right? The very first time you stood in the locker room to give a pep talk. That's a special place, the locker room, for a coach to give a talk. So my idol as a coach was Vince Lombardi. And I read this book called Commitment to Excellence by Vince Lombardi. And in the book, Lombardi talked about the first time he spoke before his Green Bay Packer team in the locker room. There were perennial losers. And I'm reading this. And Lombardi said he was thinking, should it be a long talk, a short talk? But he wanted to be emotional. He said, be brief. And this is what he did. He, he, normally, you get in a locker room, I don't know, 25 minutes, a half hour before the team takes the field. You do your little X and O's, and then you give the great Newt Rockney talk. We all do. Speech number 84. You pull him right out. You get, you get ready. Get your squad ready. Well, this is the first one I ever gave. And I read this thing, Lombardi. What he said was, he didn't go in. He waited. His team was wondering, where is he? Where is this great coach? He's not there. Ten minutes. He's still not there. Three minutes before they have to take the field, Lombardi comes in, bangs the door open, and I think you all remember what great presence he had, right? Great presence. And he walked in, and he just walked back and forth like this, just walked, staring at the players. And he said, all eyes on me. And I'm reading this in his book, and I'm getting a picture of this Lombardi before the, his first game. And he said, gentlemen, we will be successful this year. You can focus on three things and three things only, your family, your religion, and the Green Bay Packers. And he like that. And the rest of it, they knocked the walls down. The rest was history. I said, that's beautiful. I'm going to do that. Your family, your religion, and Rutgers basketball. That's it. I had it. I'm, listen, I'm 21 years old. The kids I'm coaching are 19. All right? And, I, and I'm going to be the greatest coach in the world, the next Lombardi. And I'm, ready, and I'm practicing out in a, right, right, right beside the locker room. The, the manager's telling me, you got to go in. Not yet, not yet. Family, religion, Rutgers basketball. All eyes on me. I got it, I got it. And now finally he said, three minutes. I said, fine. True story. I go to knock the doors open, just like the body. Boom! It didn't open. <laughs> I almost broke my arm. I was like, you know, it was one that didn't open. Now I'm down, the players are looking. You know, coach, get, you know, help the coach up. Help him up. You know? And now I did like Lombardi. I walked back and forth, right? And I was going like that with my arm, get the feeling back in it. And finally I said, gentlemen, all eyes on me. And these kids wanted to play. They're 19. Let's go. I said, gentlemen, we'll be successful this year if you can focus on three things and three things only. They said, yeah. Then your family, your religion, and the Green Bay Packers, I told you. <laughs> I did that. I remember that. 